Bitnapping TV. Hi and welcome to Bitnapping TV. My name is Tino and I'm still a Bitnapper. Today I'm going to show you an application that is really helpful if you are an iPhone or an iPad user. First of all, you of course need to connect your device to the Mac using the iPod connector. I'm talking about PhoneView. PhoneView you can download from ecamm.com. It costs $19.95, but it has really, really cool features, so that's worth it. So I'm going to show you PhoneView now. This is the interface, and first of all, you can access the iPhone like a drive. So you can move files to your iPhone, and you, of course, can also remove or copy those files to other computers. So you're of course limited to the space on your iPhone, but th that's not all. You can also see your, your messages, oh, all messages you have stored on your iPhone, and here's a special thing, you are also able to archive those messages. So all you have to do now, you click on copy from iPhone, and then you select wherever you would like to save it to, let's say documents, it's great, and you can select a file type, I said PDF, click on save, and here it is, I now can open the PDF file and all messages I have written to Bastion are saved now on my Mac. The next thing that's really cool, you can access your voicemail. So, as I can see here, I've got a new one, and it's, it's nice to know getting a new message, but I'm also able to um, play back those voice messages. So I click here on the play button, and let's see who was calling. Hello. This is in fact Bastion, but I just hijacked or bitnapped Tino's iPhone. Ha! I'm so evil. <laughs> Yeah, this sometimes happens um, when I'm not around my iPhone. Um, Bastion is simply bitnapping it. And the next cool thing I have to show you now is you can, of course, also access all your uh, music or video data on the iPhone or iPad. And, okay, access them, that's cool. You can also access them on uh, using the iTunes. But here's the thing you can't do on iTunes. You are able to select files and you're also able to copy those files to your hard drive. So let's say we go on, uh, let's say documents is great, create a new folder, call it 24, great, and click on save. What it does now, it saves all the files onto your Mac and, of course, you can also play back those files. See, there are the files in the stored on my Mac. And I can also... I should remove the sound a little bit. This is how it works. Yeah. That's a lot what I can, so I can show you. But there's another thing. You can, of course, also... Um, access your photos so you don't need to um, store your photos in let's say uh, iPhoto or Aperture you can also copy those files to to another folder if you would like to um, yeah that's it this is form view it also works for the iPad and I'm sorry it's not free but it's great and another thing if you would like to see the latest shows just follow us on Twitter it's our Twitter account is Bitnapping TV. Thanks for watching. Submit your tips and questions at www.bitnapping.tv.